Hi everybody, welcome to the Retro Gamers Podcast. It's a blistery day today here in western Pennsylvania. It started out at 50 degrees, it's gonna, supposed to get up to 80 today. The sun's warm, but the air is cold. It means fall's coming, and after that winter. I hate cold. Can't wear shorts. Have to wear heavy clothes. Sucks. I want to introduce a new feature I'm going to use in the podcast, and maybe I'll use it on my other ones also, is a little trivia. I'm going to show you it right now. So there you go. I'll do a couple more during the podcast and at the end of the podcast, I'll give you the answers. See how smart you are. See if you can figure it out. So coming up... Next Saturday, the 24th of September, I have a show in Cleveland at the IX Center. It's the Cleveland Gaming Classic, Cleveland Classic Game, Cleveland Game, Cleveland. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's a show at the IX Center in Cleveland. And as of right now, I'm still in the overflow, which means I'm down on the food court. Um, but that may change. I hopefully will find out by the end of today that I may be moved down into the main lobby, which is actually, which is interesting, food court is upstairs and main lobby is downstairs, down into the main lobby, the main section, because I'm getting, hopefully, added to the Indie Game Developers Contest, and maybe I'll win a trophy. I'm the only one developing for ColecoVision. I may be the only one developing 8-bit, as far as I know. I don't know what's out there. So, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, you guys will show up over there. Come see me over there at the convention. Should be fun. Come next week, or the following week, October 1st and 2nd, if you're in Pittsburgh, outside of Pittsburgh, Monroeville, for the Monroeville, for the Pittsburgh Retro, Pittsburgh Retro Gaming Society <laughs> convention. It's Saturday, um, October 1st, and Sunday, October 2nd. I have a booth set up there, and come by, stop, say hi. So there's another question for you. Do you know the answer to that one? One of the things I have at the show is my games. I'm starting to slowly work them out. Oh, and before I go too far, games. Update on what's happening. Virix. Virix is coming along and as you can probably tell in my face, I'm not a happy camper with it. I don't like the gameplay. Somebody else may, so I may have to boot it to someone else and say, what do you think? I personally don't like the gameplay, and if I don't like the gameplay, I don't want to write the game. So we're going to see what happens. But, but, there's a big but. Don't want to big buts, but a big but. There's another game in the works. That's all I'm going to tell you. So, I'm going to have available at the Cleveland show and at the Pittsburgh show if I have any left. Turbo 2022 for the Aquarius. I have five copies of these left. I am still debating if I want to write more games for the Aquarius. I like working with the system. It's a cute system and all, but the market is not there. And making 50 games and struggling to try to sell them to recoup your costs, it's kind of... Uh, so, maybe I'll make a smaller run of the next game if I do win any Aquarius. It depends. I've got 15 copies of Crazy Chicky Jr. left, and after that, there are going to be no more Crazy Chicky Jr., but you never know, there might be Crazy Chicky Jr. do part two next year. It's a fun game to write and a fun game to play. Crazy Climber, I still have plenty of them left, and at the show, I'm going to have some Crazy Climber mugs. These are left from the Kickstarters. I have uh, 15 of them. Free mug if you buy a Crazy Climber. I just want to get these out because they're just sitting there and... Free mug if you get Crazy Climber. I have seven copies of Terminal 2022 left. And then I probably won't make any more. I say probably because I still have some boxes left and I still have some manuals left, but I don't have no labels left. So it's a debatable if I want to order labels and do another short run of them or maybe hold off. Who knows? 
And Arcadian. I have 10 copies of Arcadian left. And once that's gone, it's gone. I'm not making no more of these Arcadians here. 10 copies of Arcadian. Do one more quick trivia question. All right, and then the last thing I have is kind of an interesting thing. If you're not aware of it, this is the four, this year is the 40th anniversary of the Clicker Vision. It is 40 years old, even though it was thrown out on the streets a year after it was made. It is 40 years old. And earlier this year, I put out a 40th anniversary edition of a Gold Donkey Kong, which was pretty cute, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. So what I'm doing is this right here. I'm going to show you the box first. I've got it all apart on this one here. This is a very limited run. 15. 15 copies. No more, no less of Arcadian in a special box. Special protective cover. Poster insert. The Arcadian manual. Full color manual which has a centerfold too, of the ship of the Arcadian. A copy of the misprinted poster. If you're not aware of this, which I have signed, oops, Millie, this poster was made back last December when I ordered the boxes, the manuals, the labels, and the posters for Arcadian. And when I received them and I looked at them, I realized I misspelled Arcadian. See, it's A-R-K-A-D-I-O-N. And on the first printing, I did it. I-A-N. So it's 400 and some dollars worth of printing that I really couldn't use anymore. I was able to salvage the insides of the manuals. I just had to change the cover. The labels, obviously, can't use those again. These, I wasn't able to salvage, but I have been using them as... They were they go out to Retro Gamers Club members in their open in their welcome packet, and now they're in here, and then finally we have this. It's a silver copy of Arcadian. Something very special about this, and I'm going to put a little picture over here so you can see it. This lights up. You turn this game on, this lights up. It has a nice blue glow behind the title Arcadian. So that's what we got here. We have a 40th anniversary of the ColecoVision copy of Arcadium. 15 copies were made. Only 15 and no more. This will be available on the store. If you want to get it. This is for serious collectors only. I suggest you, if you want to buy Arcadian to play it, just, just buy a copy of Arcadian as long as it exists. Or become a, become a member of the store, of the Retro Gamers Club, and just download the digital and play it on your emulator. But if you're a collector and you want to collect stuff, this is a collector's because as far as I know, and I could be wrong, this is going to be the only cartridge ever that actually has lights in it that glow when you turn them on, as you can see in the photo I keep showing over here. So, 40th anniversary of the ColecoVision with Arcadian. And remember, in January-ish, I say ish because I don't want to say in January and... The game is not done January 1st and people come, which happened last year because, because of my mistake, my typo with the Arcadian stuff, instead of shipping Arcadian on January 2nd, I was held up for three weeks waiting for the reprints to come over because I got them printed overseas because they're a little bit cheaper. And because of that, Arcadian took about three weeks to get out past it when I said I wanted to send it out. And I had one person who, which is kind of funny, um because I was supposed to start shipping on January 2nd. On January 4th, they contacted me and said, um, when's Arcadian ship? And I told them, I said, well, it's not going to ship for another three weeks. If you had watched the updates in the videos, you would have seen the reason why. And he replied back, yeah, well, that's not, that's not a good enough story. I don't, uh, that's not a good enough excuse. I don't like that excuse. I want my money back. I said, fine, you get your money back. And I gave him his money back. He paid $110 for two copies of the game. I gave him 10 bucks back, no problem. The fascinating thing is once Arcadian released three weeks later, a couple days after it released, <laughs> here comes an order through the store for two copies from him. He's ordering them now. All 
All right, so there we go. That was three or four of them. And on the way out of the video here, I'll show you the answers to the questions and see how well you did. Let me know in the comments if you like that idea of putting some trivia questions in here. Be sure to like and subscribe now. That's how I know you like the thing. If you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. As I think I've mentioned before, I get my automatic two dislikes every time I post a video by the same entity who has, I guess, two accounts on YouTube and he just makes sure within the first day of me posting I get my two dislikes. I think he thinks it hurts me. But according to YouTube, dislikes don't hurt. That's interaction. You get an interaction, you move up the algorithm. You don't get no interaction, you sit down at the bottom. So if he wants to dislike me, I don't care. Go ahead, be, dislike me. Like me, dislike me. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think. A lot of people don't comment. You should comment. If you made it this far, put in the comments. All right, you know, well, here you go, because I do want to do something in a future podcast. If you made it this far, in the comments, give me your top five ColecoVision games. Top five. And, and don't, don't be a sock up and say my games, because there are hundreds of games out there. Well, you can say my games, but give me your top five ColecoVision games in the comments, because I'm going to use that in the future podcast. So if you made it that far, you know what to do. If you didn't make it this far, you'll never know to add your comments. And I'm not going to type away, hey, do it. It's up to you. So on the outro, on the way out, I'm going to give you the answers to those questions. And you see how well you did. Have a good day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys at Cleveland next week and the following week in Monroeville. If not, have an awesome day.